Las Vegas resident Rosa Henderson was born visually impaired. But when she put on eSight glasses for the first time in 2017, her life changed in an instant. Some of the things that I was doing that I hadn't ever been able to do before was like see a poster that was posted on the wall across the room, able to zoom in and see the priest people's faces that were sitting around me, um, just seeing people's details. I mean, I could tell that there was humans sitting there before, but I couldn't tell if they were wearing glasses or if they were looking at me or, you know, things like that. And just being able to see things in clarity that I've being born visually impaired had never been able to do before. Like many people who find they can have their sight restored by this device, it was a joyful moment. And what did that feel like? Amazing. <laughs> it was a tear fest. It was very emotional. Luckily, I was there, you know, by myself. I didn't have a lot of people around other than the people doing the demo because it would have been pretty embarrassing. <laughs> now, almost two years later, Henderson is not only an eSight customer, she's working with him as a coach helping new users become accustomed to seeing the world through their new eyes. But it wasn't a future she always thought possible. Why? The price tag. When eSight first launched, it cost a hefty $10,000 US. I couldn't afford eSight. I found out about eSight and the, one of the first things that goes through your mind is like, well, why even try? if I can't afford to pay $10,000. And then luckily, because I was able to seek out resources, I was able to go through the disability services here in the state and through their assistance and showing them that I had the capabilities and the potential of being a self-independent person that could be viable and seek employment, they were able to help me purchase the unit. And so now with the new program of the price drop and the financing and the payment options, it would have been something I could have easily done that I wouldn't have been able to do without that change. Thanks to the help of the Nevada Department of Rehabilitative Services, Henderson was able to acquire eSight without going into debt. Now that could be possible for many more people. On January 6th, eSight announced that its price tag is dropped to $5,950 US. Esite Director of Marketing, Jeff Fenton, explains how it's possible. We knew from the get-go that we needed to do everything we could uh, to reduce that price. And that included hitting certain milestones um, in terms of user growth, uh, in terms of our overall operations, and ultimately in terms of our cost to produce it. And we've hit those milestones. So very, very recently, we, we were able to get ready for this, uh, this price drop. Uh, and today we're, we're finally able to offer it at a substantially reduced price in commitment to our promise to help people see their world and change it too. Eastsight is also introducing a new financing plan for a down payment of $2,450 US and a monthly payment of $165 a month for two years, someone can buy the ability to see. Here's how Eastsight works. A small camera on the visor captures the image. That's enhanced and relayed to two small screens right in front of the user's eyes. The user can adjust and control the eSight with an attached handheld remote control. They can even stream other content. Fenton says eSight has thousands of users after about two years on the market. With this lower price point, that could quickly multiply. We're really hopeful um, and, and believe fundamentally that this drop will help people afford it in ways that they never could have before. Um, and you know, our team is, is ready and excited to feel what we think is gonna be some pretty significant demand. And when those new customers put on their eSight for the first time and see the world through new eyes, they'll have coaches like Henderson to help them find their way. Reporting from CES 2019 for IT World Canada, I'm Brian Jackson. Subscribe to our channel for more videos from the world's largest consumer electronics show.